Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, the Throne of Baal, and when last we left off, we just went into this basement and had quite a protracted fight with a bunch of rogues and a quite high level wizard. But now all the enemies are dead, which means we can explore at our leisure, which means that we need to start detecting for traps and illusions because there could be some sneaky surprises left for us by the people that we just killed. Let's start over here and see if there's anything, because there's a table, and it could be trapped. Ooh, you have found a small hidden switch behind a trap. You shall have to disarm a trap if you wish to flick the switch, which of course we do. And we have a very capable uh, thief, which makes this easy. You flick the switch and hear the muffled turning of gears, and the party gains 3,250 experience. May not seem like a lot, but disarming traps does add up over time. We have a tiny amount of gold here. We have more places where there could be traps. There's a tiny alcove here that you wouldn't be able to uh, see as somewhere you could loot if you don't use tab. And there is this. Neither appear to be trapped. That, however, is locked. And I recognize what that is. That is Starfall All. This strange material comes from the core of a meteorite which fell from the heavens. The malleable ore is surprisingly strong and radiates an inner heat. Any item forged from the alien matter would undoubtedly possess mysterious and unearthly properties. And then we have the tier that uh, is just something we'll sell. I don't think we have any need for them anymore, so it's just something to earn us a bit more coin. And we won't say no to a bit more coin. I want you to put uh, that in there, that in there, this in here, because uh, Cespinar can find it regardless. Also, you might as well put all those in there. And that is full, but I do believe we have another one of those. Yes, we do! So, I'll just put that there and uh, give that to you. Excellent. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we can... Uh, Put these here as well, and give these to you as well, making even more inventory space. And you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let's put those there as well. And you have this brine... You know, I don't think we need these. Actually, let's keep the brine potions. You never know, we might end up needing them. Just maybe. Any more potions I need to worry about? And the answer is a resounding no. I don't think there is. There is that there. Elven holy water. I doubt that classes as a potion, but you know what? No. No, it doesn't. We'll just uh, put it in here, then. And there is the secret jail door key that we're probably going to be doing something with at some point. Either way, let's keep looking around. Yes, I am. Okay, anything on the table? Probably neither traps nor especially valuable loot. Even now, the uh, game will use the uh, generic, hey, here's some uh, low-level loot tables, even in Throne of Baal. Anything here? Nothing we can loot. There is, however, another trap. I do remember that one. And that one has also been dealt with. Hmm. And I think yeah. with that, we've done everything we need to... ...to reveal! There he is, Arctic Santel. Something on your mind? And so the foul traitor dies. I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Saradish. There is much I must do. I cannot stay. But thank you once again. And with a brief flash of the screen, they disappear. Anything over here? No, absolutely nothing. Also, that can't have been a very comfortable place to uh, remain for a long period of time. Then again, the person holding uh, him probably didn't care about his comfort. Either way, we are done here. And by extension, we are done here as well. And now it is time to report on our success. And get some experience. And maybe even some money. We could do with some money. Right, we need to go over to... Oh, yes! Hang on. You are currently burning. You are no longer burning. It's currently day. Countess Santel over there. 
Also, there's something else that I forgot about that I'm going to uh, mention when we go back over to there. But first, over to here. When eventually the yep, when eventually the party manages to get through, oh, the finickiness of getting through doors. If that's what you want. I, I thank you for saving my son. I wish I could offer you more of a reward, but this is all I have. And we get two thousand gold. More importantly, she walks out of the building. I don't know why she walks out of the building, but this does mean that we get free reign to explore. Let's see if there's anything that we can have. Not locked. Locked. And it contains a sky drop gem. That's not too bad. And one whole gold. Wow, she wasn't joking when she said that she didn't have anything. Now, remember when I said before that we weren't going to uh, do anything to increase our reputation too much because of the fact that uh, we're an all-evil party? Hmm. I forgot that you can transform into the Slayer and reduce your reputation whenever you like. Two points of reputation per transformation, so you know what? You're not meant to be alive, sir. In fact, I'm... Yeah, you're not meant to be alive. You, in fact, are meant to be dead. But I'm sure this will work regardless. Now, we could use the Rod of Resurrection, or we can just use Faconia. <laughs> daddy got hit by the fire and fell down. I can't wake him up no matter what. Please help my daddy. I might be able to help you with a spell. Let's see. And a cutscene will happen. And he's still not dead. And now he's dead and then not dead. That was peculiar. What? what just happened? I felt myself hovering over my own body. Something was pulling me away into a distant plane. I fought against it. I couldn't leave Tazard alone. And then suddenly I felt myself being drawn back into my body. You must have incredible willpower, because typically the soul only lingers around the body in D&D for a couple of rounds before being pulled to the plane of its eternal rest. You being able to hang around for so long, I mean, we did rest a couple of times, is amazing. Either that, or the people making this little side quest didn't think about that. But while we're here, we can ask about a reward. Yes, quite a feat. I suppose a reward is out of the question. A reward? We are destitute, my lady. I wish I had something to give you, but all I can do is thank you for giving me another chance at life. Tazit, he would have been all by himself. Thank you again, truly. I, I hope that you can do something to save this town, or perhaps save us all. We gained a reputation point, and people are going to grumble. Yep, they're going to grumble. Right, we have uh, Saradush under siege and dealing with Gromnir. Not much we can do uh, in terms of uh, quests now, but we can sell some things and we can... Uh, also, we can uh, look at the sign there. We can sell some things and then go talk to that merchant who did want a thousand gold for some information. And at this point, we can probably give him that gold. I mean, we could have given him the gold anyway, but we can uh, hand that over without... Uh, being out of pocket, due to all of the uh, extra gold we've accumulated. And not being out of pocket, very important. Yeah. Right. Let's go not talk to you again. I got some cheap beer for you. That you do, but it's not your ale that I want, it is all of the other stuff. Let us sell this plate mail. Let us sell all of this, because none of this is useful, although it is worth a fair bit of money. It'll all add up. And adding up it is. Look at all of that. That's 9,000. Not bad. Also, you have that. I don't really need the arrows plus one. You know, I really don't need these either. Bolts of lightning, maybe, but not the darts. Also, I, I really should have just selected all of them. Uh, anything you need to sell? No. Anything you need to sell? No. Anything you need to sell? I suppose we'll sell the sky drop gem. It really doesn't matter. And there's Casimir, that is eleven thousand. We're going to just put that in a big bag because 
we're probably never really going to be using that. Right, that there, that there, you can have... I suppose you can actually hold on to that for me, why not? We just need to uh, swap these helmets back. I don't know why I gave you that helmet. That helmet is very much mine. And then we will go and get that information. We do need that information to get into Gromnir's palace. And there you are. I trust all is well. Eh, Pigram Ilson at your service once more. What can I do for you? So that way to get into the castle. There is that fee. How much do you want? I'll need a thousand gold to share this little secret. Here's your money. Now start talking. There's an old abandoned jail in the city where Count Santel could imprison his political enemies. Rumor holds there was a secret passage from the jail into the castle. But the jail never got much use, and nobody bothered to look after it. Eventually it became overrun with undead, and the Count secretly asked Sister Fariel at the temple to seal the entrance. How do you know all this? Sister Fariel and I have a very close relationship, if you get my drift. If you talk to her, she might give you the key to the sealed door of the jail, seeing as how we're all doomed anyway. Ha! The little pickle tickle with the sister in the back of the church, eh? You know what they say. None is better! Ha ha ha! That was an absolutely terrible pun. I'd like to see you do better! Hmm. Still, life and business go on for a while. Thank you very much. I'll be going. Suit yourself. Just remember, most folk don't take kindly to outsiders around here. But me, I tend to take a more philosophical view. Come back if you change your mind. Now, we have some information. And that explains why Sister Fariel was so reluctant to talk to us before. I'm surprised there's that much of this uh, place here if it's been bombarding you for weeks. Now, here are the elves. Let us talk to you. Is there still more I may do to aid you, Sister? Pigram Elson tells me you have a key that can get me into the castle. What? How did you know that? Oh, of course. Rumors travel about Saradush as they would anywhere else. Key to get into the castle, yes. Though it may not be what you think. It makes no difference, however. Whatever you need the key for, it would likely lead to no good. Be gone, sister. There is no help for you here. Forget it. I came for the key, and I'm not leaving without it. Do your worst. You're obviously an evil woman, and I expect no less from the likes of you. But you will get no help from me. Um... I'm going to have to threaten to reveal your affair. That's probably what I'm going to have to do, isn't it? Yep. Unless you want everyone to know about your affair with Pigram, you'll hand over that key. I... I cannot let my secret shame be revealed. The people of this town turn to me for aid, now more than ever. I must be above reproach. You're an evil woman, but I shall give you the key. I do not know of what use the key will be to you, though. It opens the door to the prison across the street, but the way into the castle is fraught with peril. Despite your evil, I wish you success, if only to save the town. I will speak of this no more. I pray you have the decency to let this matter lie now, and I pray Joaquin will forgive you for your actions, sister. We gained a thousand experience for that, and there's nothing more that we want from you. Also, we did have to force you to give that information up, but... We are also trying to save the town. Also, there is a uh, Oris Nimblefinger here. How did I come to this? I'm just a simple farmer. Is it my fault my father was the Lord of Murder? You're one of Baal's children. Baal may have been my father, but I want no part of this. I came to Saradush to escape persecution in my hometown. Now all I want is to try and blend in with the normal folk. Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. Damn this cursed immortal lineage! Also, there's something I want to try before we go into the prism. Something that I remember that you can do. But it requires someone very intelligent. Yes. Or, so, Edwin. Right. Edwin, why don't you try and speak to Vakang? My friend. You. If you want a Balspawn, you should probably leave this place. It isn't safe for any of us. Not that anywhere is, really, right now. Oh, we... We can't actually, uh, talk to you because, um... And do what I wanted to do because we are not a Balspawn. 
if you are a very intelligent Balspawn, you can actually get uh, Vei Kang to teleport away again by uh, some very clever usage of uh, phrasing. Unfortunately, we are not uh, super intelligent, so uh, we can't do that. Also, we're going to open this up and make our way in. Also, this place is dangerous, but you probably knew that. Alright, do you have a... Uh, I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Let's just look around carefully. There's another secret door there. Let's open this door, because apparently everybody else managed to get through without uh, opening that door. In here is a fledgling vampire. We, we should be able to deal with a fledgling vampire. Here he comes. And that's the end of the vampire. Yeah, vampires aren't too much of a threat for us. There's a door there. This one's locked. All right, Hexat, do your thing. Ooh. Can't open that one normally. Okay. What about over here? By the way, if you uh, talk to the courtesans in the tavern, they can bring you here. Of course, you'll be surrounded by vampires when uh, you do that, but uh, they can bring you here. Okay, we can't open that door either, which tells me that we're going to have to open up this door, which is also locked. Can we open this one? Yes, we can. All right. Door opens. Hello. You see a ghostly apparition of an emaciated old man wearing tattered rags. He tries to speak, but no words come out. With a look of sorrow in his eyes, he clutches his temples as if in agony, then vanishes. Yeah, of course. Okay. There may be a puzzle here. Also, here is a skull. It could be his skull. The skull is chipped and scratched, its surface scored with numerous tooth marks. Yeah, I can imagine he probably has a headache if they literally ate his body. Okay, what's over here? Vampires? Yup! How about they? And you're gone. Also, here's another fledgling vampire. That is also gone! And nothing we can loot. There is something we can do here, though. Ooh, and that is a, uh, a necklace and a couple of bolts. We probably want those bolts, actually. If you'd like to go and examine them for me. We have arrows plus three and bolts plus three. Okay, not as impressive as uh, I thought they would be. Ah, well, let's keep going. This probably would just lead over to here. Ooh, this place is bigger than I remember it being. Once again, the ghostly apparition of an old beggar manifests itself before you. He traces his spectral fingers across his neck as if trying to pantomime putting on a necklace. He points to the doors of nearby cells, then vanishes once more. Hmm. Oh, hello! We have two fledgling vampires here. Have at thee! And normally these vampires would be quite dangerous if they could hit you because of the uh, level drain. Fortunately for us, that's, that's not really a problem best. because we're pretty high level and we are pretty much a uh, melee mincing machine. There's supposed to have been a secret entrance at some point. It has long since been sealed. Mm -hmm. Oh, so no opening that door. Another vampire? Hello? Oh. Yep, these vampires are not having much luck at all. There is another secret door there. And probably in here, the discord of the room is a shallow grave which has been defiled. Within it is a human skeleton, though its skull is missing. Oh, We could return the skull. Do we put the skull in here? Mm, no? Not sure. No. That's probably where the uh, person died, though. What is it if I must? Probably. And so, when we come back, folks, we are exploring the prison to go and find Ooh. Gromnir Ilkhan. I wonder if there's going to be a uh, reunion of sorts between uh, 
Dawn and Gromnir. After all, they both have Ilkhan in their name. We'll have to wait and see. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. How much more of this place do we have to explore? Not a whole lot, actually. I think soon we will be done with here. Also, I bet this is a uh, sealed secret entrance, but there'll be only one way to find out. And that'll be to check. Later.